so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And look at what's behind me. Whoa! A really cool sign! What does it say? Sci-Cart International Speedway. <gasps> yeah! Today, I'm at Sci-Cart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Hey, and check out that and that. What are those? Yeah, those are go-karts. Today, you and I are going to learn and drive some go-karts. Whoa, did you see those? Those were flags. Yep, and when you're racing go-karts, it's very important to listen to the flagger. Yeah, because the go-kart engines are so loud, they probably can't yell at you. And through the helmet, you can't hear them. So you can communicate with colored flags. Let's learn about them. Whoa, what color is this flag? Yeah, that flag is the color green. And this means it's the start of the race. As soon as that green flag drops, it's go time. <laughs> oh, look at this flag. Yeah, this flag is the color yellow. Yeah, and the yellow flag, when you see the flagger, that means to slow down. Yeah, do not pass. That might mean that there's a little problem on the track. So be very careful. It means caution. Whoa, look at this flag. Wow, yeah, the color red. Just like a stop sign or a stoplight, it means stop immediately. There might be a big problem on the track. Maybe a couple carts spun out and they're blocking the track. Yeah, who knows? This flag just means to stop when you see it. Oh, another flag. Whoa, what color flag is this? Yeah, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> this is the blue flag. And when you see the flagger moving it up, that means move over, let others pass. Yeah, maybe I'll be going really slow. And that means if I see the blue one, I'm gonna move over to let others pass. Yeah, it's really important to be safe on the track. Oh, look at this one. Black flag. You are out of the race. Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, you might get this if you did something you shouldn't have, like maybe bumped people. Yeah, you're not supposed to bump during go-karts. These aren't bumper cars, they're go-karts. <laughs> oh, yeah, the white flag. That means one lap remaining. Oh, you know what this means? Give it some gas and go for the win. <laughs> and the last flag. Yep, the black and white checkered flag. That means the race is over and that you probably won. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it's a go-kart. <laughs> yeah, we're learning about go-karts. Hey, let's learn the parts of a go-kart. Whoa, this thing is so awesome. Hey, do you know what this is called? Yeah, this is where you sit. <laughs> yeah, and this is called a seat. Whoa, look at what I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, this is the steering wheel. Pretty cool, huh? This is how you turn left and you turn right. Yeah, <laughs> just like steering a car or a truck. Yeah, go-karts also have a steering wheel. Look at what my feet are pushing on. Yeah, this, see the red? That is the brake pedal. Yeah, if you push down on that, this is gonna stop the go-kart. Can you see this one over here? What color is this one? Yeah, that's the color green. And you know what green means? Green means go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check this out, yeah. One great thing about go-karts is they're nice and safe because they have <laughs> a seat belt. You have to remember to always wear your seat belt. Yeah, and then obviously we'll be wearing a helmet too. 
Whoa, look at right here. Right in the center, this is where you fill up the go-kart with fuel. This go-kart takes gas. Let's open it up. Whoa, it's nice and full in there. I think it's ready to ride. <laughs> so hey, have you ever seen the engine of a go-kart? Come check it out. All right, wow, look at this. So let's pull off the cover. Whoa, look at the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, this is what creates the power. The gas goes in here, it mixes with air, and then there's a spark from a spark plug, and then power is created. <laughs> wow, what a cool machine. I think it is time to ride the go-kart. Check out all of these go-karts. I am so excited to beat the lap record. <laughs> Whoa, check them out. Whoa, do you see all of these go-karts? Yeah, all of these go-karts have a red number plate. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, and look at all of these go-karts. All of these go-karts have a black number plate. Whoa, there's so many numbers, come on. Number. What number is this? There's a one and a six. Yeah, 16. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Two of the same number. And both of the numbers are two. Two, two. What number is that? Yeah, 22. Good job. Hey. I have a simple math equation for you. Let's see, what is one plus two? One plus two, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, the number three. <laughs> yeah. These go-karts look so much fun. Hey, let's pick one at the front and then let's go for a ride. Hmm, let's see, how about this one? All right, let's hop in. <laughs> whoa, 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 not quite yet. You need to be very safe while you ride a go-kart. Let's go pick out a helmet. <laughs> whoa, look at all of these helmets we can choose from. Whoa, I am so excited. Whoa. Check out this helmet, yeah. This helmet looks so cool. It's the color green, black, white, whoa, and shiny silver. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, a blue helmet. Wow, this looks like a cool helmet. Whoa, look at this helmet. Yeah. What color helmet is this? Yeah, the color pink. <laughs> I like this helmet. Helmets are really important to keep your head nice and safe while we're out go-karting. <laughs> Can't forget about the color red. Whoa, look at this. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> and the last color helmet that we have is the color yellow. Yeah, that's a nice color. Kind of reminds me of the color of the sun, huh? Yeah. Man, there are so many colors of helmets here. Hmm, what color helmet would you pick? Oh, I love that color. Hmm, but I need a helmet right now. Let's see. I have an idea. Why don't I use some of my own safety equipment? Pants! Yeah! Woohoo! Gloves! Whoa! Yeah! Free! Helmet! Yeah! Now I'm ready to race! Ha ha! Let's go! Alright, I think I am ready. 
sit in the go-kart. Ooh, safety first. We have to wear our helmet and we need to make sure we're buckled up. All right, Blippi, you look completely ready to go. But the track record, 23.3. You think you can beat that? <sighs> I've never been more ready in my life. Sycart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you again. Bye bye! Me, Flippy! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh, it looks like the lights went out. <laughs> but that's okay. I have my handy dandy flashlight. <laughs> Whoa! Hmm. Hey, I wonder how electricity works. Hmm. Maybe you and I can learn more about electricity. Maybe figure out how to turn the lights back on. And I know the perfect place. Let's go to Wonderworks. I'll see you there. We're at Wonderworks Science Center in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and look at that. The building's upside down. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Well, I am super excited because today you and I get to learn all about science. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore! Whoa! Whoa! Look at this place! This place is awesome! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, it's so colorful! And look at it! There are paintings and lights and even a staircase up really high! <laughs> That's really silly! Hey, wait a minute! If the floor is up there, then that must mean that we're standing on the ceiling and we're upside down. <laughs> That's really silly. Hey, I have an idea. Since you and I are kind of upside down right now, let's do a ceiling dance. <laughs> it's not every day you get to walk on the ceiling. Come on, let's go. That ceiling dance was pretty fun. Good job. Well, I've had a lot of fun being on the ceiling with you, but I think it's about time that you and I try to get back to the floor. <laughs> hey, I bet there's something in Wonderworks that can help us go right side up again. <laughs> Come on, let's go find out. Whoa, this looks like a really dark tunnel. Make sure to watch your step 
and be extra brave. Let's go in, come on. This place is so cool. Yeah, we are in a big, big cylinder. Yeah, a cylinder, it's kind of like a tunnel, but this tunnel is really dark and it's spinning in a circle. Whoa, I'm getting a little bit dizzy. <laughs> hey, look at it. This tunnel has lots of lines and polka dots that glow in the dark. And hey, look, my glasses, woo! And my shoelaces, woo, woo, they glow in the dark too. <laughs> this tunnel is pretty cool. Well, actually, this is called the inversion tunnel, woo. And maybe the inversion tunnel will help us find the floor and get ourselves right side up again. I sure hope so, because I'm starting to get a little dizzy. Okay, here we go. We made it all the way to the floor! <laughs> yeah! The inversion tunnel helped us get right side up again. <laughs> hey, I bet there are so many more fun things for us to explore here at Wonderworks, and we can learn all about science. You know, I really like science because it helps to explain how the world works. <laughs> Let's go find out, come on! This is a really cool place. Hey, I have a question. What do these three things have in common? A lamp, a computer, and a blender. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. These three items all use electricity. <laughs> yeah, and electricity is the flow of lots of little teeny tiny things that help things turn on and have lots of energy and power. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I bet you and I have a lot of energy. Maybe we can do an electricity dance. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so silly. <laughs> but electricity is really interesting. Did you know that electricity comes in three different kinds? Yeah, the first kind of electricity is static electricity. Mm -hmm. Static electricity happens when you rub two socks together or you rub a blanket and it touches your pants and then it gets really staticky. <laughs> yeah, that's static electricity. You can also find static electricity in a Tesla coil. Whoa, yeah. This machine right here is a Tesla coil and helps to make really, really, really strong beams of static electricity. Okay, here we go. First, I'm gonna put my hand, whoa, into this metal glove. Yeah and press this big blue button. Whoa, <laughs> and look, it's tickling my fingers. Whoa. <laughs> Here, I'll press it again. Whoa, look at it. My hand is protected from the metal glove, but the static electricity is going crazy. Woo. <laughs> hello, 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 Mr. Hand. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> so silly. Whoa. That was really cool, learning about static electricity and Tesla coils. And did you know, there's also a type of electricity called current electricity. <laughs> yeah. Current electricity is a little more dangerous though. And it's what powers all your lamps and computers and blenders. <laughs> yeah. I almost forgot. There's a third kind of electricity called natural electricity. And that's lightning. <laughs> Natural electricity, lightning, is really, really big. <laughs> and it only happens when there's a thunderstorm. Hey, that was so much fun learning all about electricity with you. Maybe we can go explore some more. Let's find some more fun things to learn about. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. It's a really, really big piano. <laughs> yeah. 
This piano is so big that you can't play it with your fingers. <laughs> Instead, you play this piano with your feet. <laughs> okay. Hey, and look at this. This is called sheet music. Yeah, sheet music you read kind of like a book. But, hmm, instead of reading words, you read the right notes to play. <laughs> How about you and I play the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Yeah, here we go. sheet music and play a really cool song. Whoa, and look at this. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. This is a real piano. You don't play this piano with your feet. You play it with your fingers. <laughs> okay, here, I'm gonna try to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star one more time on the real piano. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun learning about electricity and so many different things at Wonderworks. <laughs> but I think it's time for Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah. And hey, do you notice something on the wall? Yeah, it's my shadow. Hello, Shadow Blippy. Hello. <laughs> but it's a little bit fuzzy. Hey, what if we use my flashlight and maybe we would get a better shadow? You could see it a little more clearly. <laughs> okay, let's find a different wall. Oh, look at this. Yeah, if I take my flashlight and I shine it right here, then you see a really clear image of my hand. Hello. <laughs> Oh, shadows are so cool. And you can make all kinds of shadow puppets <laughs> with your hand. Look, it's a little bird. Hello. <laughs> hmm, did you know that some people have shadow puppet shows? Yeah, it's like a puppet show, but they use their hands and flashlights to make a shadow puppet show. <laughs> hey, if we go behind this curtain, then we can have a show of our own. Okay, I'm gonna go back there and set up the flashlight. I'll be right back. Okay, look, if I'm behind this curtain, you can see my shadows, but you can't see me. No, because I'm hiding. Peekaboo. <laughs> yeah, there's my hand. And look, there's that little bird again. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> Hey, did you know that you can make shadow puppets with your hand, but you can also make them with paper? Hey, I think I have some shadow puppets made out of paper right back here. Okay, let's see what animals and shapes we have. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's a dragon. Whoa, and look, the dragon is flying really high in the sky. Whoa, it's so high up. And look, the dragon is visiting a castle. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. And there's all other kinds of animals you can use too, not just dragons and castles. Look, do you know what kind of animal this is? Roar! Roar! <laughs> yeah, this is a really scary lion. <laughs> but it's not that scary. Ooh. And we have, look, this animal. Hmm, it looks kind of like a small horse. Yeah, I think this animal is a donkey. <laughs> and it looks like I have one more shadow puppet. 
It's an elephant! <laughs> wow! Let's give all of our shadow puppets a round of applause. <laughs> Good job! That was so much fun! <laughs> hey, it looks like the lights came back on. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun learning all about the shadows, shadow puppets, and electricity. <laughs> I had such a good day with you. Well, that's the end of this episode, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. E-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we're at. Yeah, we're at Santa, which is in Seattle, Washington. And Santa stands for School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts. Yeah, have you ever been to a circus before? I love circuses, they are awesome. And today, you and I are gonna learn about some circus art. <laughs> Wow, look at this place, it is so cool. And the floor that we're on is pretty bouncy. Whoa! Okay, the first thing I need to do is take off my shoes. All right, there we go. Let me put them right over here. And now, before we do anything with circus, we need to stretch. All right, oh, whoa. Yeah, it's really important to stretch so then our muscles are nice and loose, so then, we don't injure ourselves. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, woo. Oh, I stretched out my back, my legs, my arms. Oh. Now that I'm all stretched, I think we should learn the rules of the circus. Whoa, check them out. The rules of circus. Yeah, number one, have fun. <laughs> That's pretty easy. We love to have fun. Number two, be safe. Yeah, safety is really important. We definitely don't want to get hurt, do we? No. Number three, work hard. Yeah, I love working hard because it's so fun to start at one point and get to another. And the only way you can improve is working hard. <laughs> And number four, be kind to each other. I love being kind. It's so cool that you are kind to your friends and family. Good job. All right, now it's time for some circus stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is awesome. Hey, check out what I'm on. Woohoo! Yeah! Do you know what this is? Whoa! Yeah, this is a trampoline. Check it out. The bouncy part. Yeah, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color black. Oh, and look at this. A safety pad. Just in case if you go off the center and then you don't get hurt. What color is the safety pad? Yeah, it's the color red. <laughs> All right, let me jump. Woohoo! Can you think of an animal that can jump real high? Whoa! Yeah, how about one that carries its babies in a pouch? Yeah! Yeah, kangaroo! Boing, boing, boing! Woohoo! What about one that loves to be in the swampy areas and it makes it sound like ribbit, ribbit? Woohoo! Yeah, frog! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Jumping is so much fun! Whoa! Did you see that? That was awesome! <laughs> hey, Bleepy! Hey! How are you doing? Yeah, good! That was awesome! Thank you so much! What's your name? My name is Max! Oh, nice to meet you, Max! Do you know how to jump on the trampoline? I sure do! Will you show us? Yeah! Stay right here, kneel right here, and wait for me. Okay. Ready?
These are called aerial silks. Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, and I am in a green silk and Max is on a purple silk. like I'm in a cocoon. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of an insect that hangs out in a cocoon? Whoa! Yeah. They start as a normal insect, then they go in a cocoon, they go through metamorphosis, and then they turn into a butterfly! Yeah! I'm a caterpillar! Whoa! Look at me! He's the butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! This is a tight wire. Yeah, this is where you can practice your balance. Yeah! And balance is really important because, yeah, you might need it for things. If you don't have any balance, you'll just fall over. Whoa! You see what I'm using on my hands? Yeah, these are sticks. Just in case, if I need a little help. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was silly. I just fell. Let me try it again. Whoa! <laughs> That's tricky. Wow, look at how good she is. Wow, she is so good. Hey, maybe now we can keep balancing on the balls. Wow, look at all these balls. Yeah, this is another great way to learn how to balance. Whoa, check it out. Look at this ball. <laughs> Whoa, whee. <laughs> yeah, I'm balancing on my stomach. Whoa, <laughs> that's hard. But hey, let's count all these balls. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do you see how this ball's in a circle? Yeah, this actually will stabilize the ball. So then when I try and stand on it, then it won't move around so much. All right, okay, let's try this. Whoa. I am so excited. Whoa, 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 it's harder than it looks. Whoa, whoa, if this stabilizer ring wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa, okay. Let's see someone good do it. <laughs> this has been so much fun learning about all these things circus related. Whoa, check it out. Wow, looks like we have some really cool things, like rings. Whoa, yeah, they're so colorful. Hello, hey. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some really light scarves. Wow, <laughs> and looks like we have this wood stick. Whoa, what is that for? And a plate, yeah, a green plate. I know what to do with this. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe I could juggle. Wait, he's not juggling. He's balancing. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you see how I just spun it really fast? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on my fingertip. Whoa, check it out. Whoa! 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 That's awesome! <laughs> All right. 
Get ready for this. I'm gonna put it on my forehead and see if I can balance it. Ready? Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. Yeah! Remember the scarves? What color are these scarves? Yeah, this one is the color pink. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color yellow. And you know what I like to do when I have three items. Yeah, juggle! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! This is so cool! <laughs> yeah! I love juggling. Hey, speaking of juggling, maybe I could take these rings and juggle the rings. <laughs> First, what color are these rings? Yeah, a green circle, an orange circle, a red circle, a yellow circle, and a blue circle. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Let's take three of them. This is going to be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Woo! How'd I do? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Yeah. A giant circle. Whoa! Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a hula hoop. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, and watch this trick. When you spin it backwards, then it'll come back to you. Ready? Wow. Ready? Max is riding a unicycle. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bicycle. Yeah, but bi means two. Yeah, two wheels and tires. But unicycle, una means one. Check it out. Whoa, all of these unicycles have one wheel and tire. Whoa! That one, this one, look at this! This frame is the color yellow! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Look at how small this is! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> they are so hard to ride! Whoa! This one is so tall! Whoa! How do you even get up on this? <laughs> I don't even know! Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe I should find one that fits me. How about this one? This one looks perfect. All right, let me try and ride this unicycle. Okay, do you see how I have these bars next to me? And so then I can hold on. And when I'm learning, I can learn this way and they'll help me balance. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this without holding on to these bars. Yeah, unicycles are actually harder to ride than bicycles in my, my opinion. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. 
Yeah, it's probably because on a bicycle, you don't have to balance forward and backward. You just have to balance side to side. But in unicycle, whoa, whoa. You have to balance forward and backward, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it with no hands. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I almost fell. Let me try it again. Here I go. Whoa, 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 that was awesome. <laughs> hey, come on in here. Wow, look at this place. This is the fly room. Whoa! Check it out. See all this? This is their trapeze setup. It is so cool. Trapeze is awesome. It's when people climb really high up in the air and then they swing while holding onto a bar. Sometimes they just fall down to the net and sometimes they grab onto other people. Hey, speaking of the net, check it out. Whoa! That looks like a really soft landing. <laughs> hey, come on. Wow. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice to meet you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin does the trapeze here and she is really good. Will you show us some trapeze? Definitely. <laughs> about circus training with you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow! This has been so much fun! Woohoo! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa! And look at it! It's a giant castle! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! We are at Medieval Times! That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars? Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today, you and I get to go in the Orlando Castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah, a stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Neigh, neigh, neigh. 
Nay! <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at it! This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa! And look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky! <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can ooh, be kind of heavy and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo. <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. Yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look. This is a really beautiful horse. Hello. His name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> first, let's brush Humo's fur. His hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello. Good job, Humo. Woo, <laughs> that tickles. Woo, <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on. Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa, that was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. 
And now it's time to unite Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here and one way down there. If you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knights Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knights gear. Come on. Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knights Lance. Whoa, and this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie, hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Hey. Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Okay, I'm ready to Knight's Challenge! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Uh-oh, I only got one ring. That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time. Yay. Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey! <laughs> that was so much fun. And now, it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah. We completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second night's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah. It's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay, ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye-bye. I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go. Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the Knight's Challenges. And now I get to be Knight Blippi. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. That was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Flippy. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges, but we already completed three. Hm, I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the knight's code. Whoa, do you know what the knight's code is? Me neither, 
Uh, Sir David, what's the knight's code? A knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm, that means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy, we can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Woo. I think I'm all ready to go, come on. Start the knighting ceremony! <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. D. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi! Good job! <laughs> Well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye!